good morning this is vrishali and in this session we will discuss the second practical of programming skill development lab so uh, this practical is related to the processor architecture subject and this subject included in second year information technology department 2019 pattern of pune university so in our last lecture last video we discuss about the first practical that is ad addition of two hexadecimal numbers now here in this session we will discuss the second practical and the aim of the practical is to write an embedded c program to add array of n numbers so for this purpose we use the software mplab id v8.89 and compiler mplab c18 so i have installed both software and compiler in my computer system already now uh, just see here so this is mplab ide window so the aim of our program is addition of array of n numbers okay array of n numbers now the first step is you have to create a one folder on desktop okay so just create a folder on desktop for example array uh, just uh, okay see practical 2 okay so here i have created a one folder because uh, all the other required file means .c file .hex file and all the other remaining files are stored in the same folder so this is a separate folder of your program or of your practical so this is practical 2 now the next step is you need to create a project so just go project project wizard then click on next now here in this step you have to choose your microcontroller so in our program we used pic 18f 4550 microcontroller so there is a complete series of pic 18 microcontroller but i am choosing here pic 18f 4550 microcontroller because this microcontroller mentioned in our program now click on next okay now the next step is here you have to choose your compiler so your compiler is microchip c18 toolset now select here mplab c18 c compiler so this is your compiler and this is a location of your compiler now click on next next step is you have to create a new project file okay so just click on browse and select your folder so which is your folder desktop practical 2 now you have to create a one dot mcp file right that is mplab ide project file and this is your main or parent file of your program so suppose the file name is array addition so this is a parent file of my project okay then click on save here mc dot mcp is a by default uh, extension is there so save now see here there is a path that is desktop practical 2 folder and the file name is array addition now click on next so here we will create a new project new folder so there is no any existing file then click on next now see here this these are the project parameters means device that is pic 18f4550 compiler microchip c18 and the location of our file now click on finish <coughs> now this window is generated see here and this is our .mcp file our parent file array addition .mcp now next step is go to file and new so you have to uh, implement your embedded c code in this window okay so i have already code here i'm just copy paste it okay now see here uh, i will explain this code so the aim is performing addition of array of n numbers so first step is importing header files like c programming we use uh, same header files in embedded c programming language so standard input output dot h header files we use different data types main function different built in keywords so that's why we use this header file now standard library dot h header file supports all the library related functions and the third file is p18f4550.h so this is our microcontroller 
and this microcontroller we have selected at the before step okay so all the registers like trace register port register so this all the registers related libraries function are stored into this import he importing header file okay so basically we have imported this three header file next is main function so we know that main function is a first function after execution next variable declaration integer i sum and n there are total three variables now the next one is array declaration so basically our array is integer type and the name of the array is number and here i have mentioned the 10 values are there 1 2 3 up to 10 so basically these 10 values are stored into this array array always start with 0 and end with total numbers means 0 to 9 okay now we have to perform addition of these numbers initially sum equal to 0 now for performing addition we used for loop okay so for loop always start with the 0 up to 9 and here the logic of sum is sum equal to sum plus number of i so just consider that sum equal to 0 plus number of i means 1 so 0 plus 1 1 right again next 1 plus 2 Three, again. This is a sum value is three. Again, three plus four, seven. So in this way, they perform addition of all these numbers. You can also change the numbers, right? So in this way, they perform addition here. Now next step is, here is trace d equal to zero. So basically, microcontroller are having different pins, and this pin work as a bidirectional, means pin work as a input pin as well as output pin. But here the port d register. show the sum sum is output that's why it declare here trace d equal to 0 means port d pin is work as a output pin not a input pin okay so trace d equal to 0 means port work as a output pin and all the sum value stored into this port d so this is a basic program of addition of array of n numbers now save this file control s and gives the name here that is array dot c okay so it necessary to mention the extension here that is dot c and save this file into the same folder desktop practical 2 and save so see this is your embedded c dot c file now you have to add this uh, file into your project file or into the microcontroller the next step is right click on source file add file and here see here this is your dot c file and open so see this array dot c file is added into the microcontroller right now you have to build your project see here this is a build all option click on build all see it gives the notification build succeeded if there is any error it shows the notification build fail so here build succeeded now you need to execute the program see here first go to project debugger select tool and mplab sim okay this is your tool now go to view and special function register so special function register generally handle all the hexadecimal values because microcontroller understand the binary or hexadecimal values so just click on that see here this window is open now you need to run your program so for running purpose you have to use f9 key otherwise see here in debugger run option is there so just click on run so see here there is green color bar is there means uh, this is in running state now microcontroller always work in loops format so you need to stop this running so for that purpose you just use f5 key okay so just click on f5 so after click on f5 see here we st uh, as per our program we stored the sum into the port d see here in port d and the answer is 0 x 37 so basically answer is 37 okay this is a decimal values so in our program wait a minute see in our program addition is 1 to 10 so addition of 1 to 10 is 55 right so see here this is a hexadecimal to decimal converter actually there see Uh, our answer is 37 right this is a hexadecimal number 
so just convert it see here the answer is 55 because 55 is our decimal number system and compiler understand hexadecimal number right microcontroller understand hexadecimal number that's why it shows the answer 37 see here 0 x 37 so in this way we have executed the second practical array of n numbers you can also change the numbers in arrays so everyone uh, try to execute this program thank you thank you